1999 was a year two Missouri Valley College students will never forget. Elitsa Stematovic and Velimir Stefanovic were living in Belgrade, Serbia, during the Kosovo War. From March to June of that year, NATO launched airstrikes against the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia. The operation was to stop human rights abuses in Kosovo. Several of those attacks were in Belgrade. Stefanovic explained what the fears of Serbs were at that time. We didn't know what to expect mm -hmm. uh, because like, we were like fighting against like the country uh, which was like modernized mm -hmm. with all that like technique, military technique and all that. Stematovic and Stefanovic explained the local hostile scene. So mm -hmm. it was like a lot of fear. Mm -hmm. uh, the people were like nervous. Like he was like you never know when it's going to happen. It, it didn't happen all the time. Like one day everything can be normal and then tomorrow you can hear the siren or in the middle of the night the sirens uh they went like every time when like the planes were approaching the mm -hmm. capital city so they had the uh, raiders and all that mm -hmm. uh, so everybody knew that they need like to go to mm -hmm. shelters and now it's the time that was mostly during the nights uh the mm -hmm. bombing mm -hmm. sleeping and then uh, like about like midnight or one or two o'clock in the morning as soon as we hear the sirens, we all go to basement. The attack caused the death of a hundred of innocent civilians. The major hits of the attacks were like on Kosovo, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, in, in Pancho, which is the city near Belgrade, uh, where there are like some military bases and also some oil companies uh, and all that. So they were like hitting the, the targets that are valuable to the mm -hmm. government. Operation Allied Force used a large-scale air campaign to destroy Yugoslav military infrastructure from high altitudes. Well, the one was really close to my house, only like five minutes in a car away from my house. And it's still up there. It's the center of the city and they hit, it was the network TV, uh, uh, TV network, mm -hmm. it was the building for that. It was the uh, most famous uh -huh. one in Serbia. So they bombed it and I can't remember how many people, I know that all the people who worked that night, because they had to, you know, the news and everything uh -huh. people wanted to hear, and they worked that night and when they bombed them, they just all died. Stematovic and Stefanovic were between 8 and 10 years old. When I asked what their parents explained to them, they answered. They gave me like some brief notes what I need like to do, that I need to be uh, like careful, that I need to follow their instruction, mm. that I cannot, it's not like a game or something. It was a yeah. lot of fear. I always, even though I was little, I always kind of knew that something bad is going on. Mm -hmm. Even though I didn't know what exactly is going on, like, I think you can sense the other people's fear. Especially mm -hmm. when we were all in a basement with our parents. They were kind of aware of what's happening and they were really afraid. So we could see that they act differently and then we were afraid mm -hmm. too. What triggered some past memories to Stematovic were? I didn't even know that in America they use these sirens also mm -hmm. for danger. But just for like, we, for example, we don't use it for, when it's type of danger, we use different si sirens. Mm -hmm. This was only in a war, but they use it here for any type of danger. Okay. So when I woke up that morning and I heard sirens and I was so scared and I just started crying and crying because you know when you don't hear for a long time mm -hmm. and then when I heard it, it's like it threw me back. Mm -hmm. When I asked Elitsa Stematovic her feelings about Americans, she answers without any doubt. I don't think uh, any less of American people because of that, because they're not the ones who did it. it. It was the government, and American people, many of them don't even know about this bombing. Yeah. They're not aware. So, But I some people from my country are hateful towards American mm -hmm. people, which is really, in my opinion, very kind of dumb and stupid because... Mm -hmm. People didn't do it. It was the government and politics. According to Russia Today TV network, 1,200 civilians were killed in the operation and 4,500 people were injured. On the other hand, the American Human Rights estimate that about 500 civilians were killed. 
breeds, industrial plants, public buildings, private business, and military installations were destroyed. The bombs stopped in June of 1999. I am Beatrice Salles reporting for KMVC.